What is up, Homage Nation? How are you doing today? I hope you're doing awesome and are ready for a pretty sweet and nostalgic video today. We have some vintage Wizards of the Coast CGC cards today to reveal for the Homage Nation. I'm pumped and I hope you are too. This CGC sub is a bulk sub with subgrades and it was sent off on February 1st and the member, <laughs> single member that is in this video is Marshall. So Marshall, be excited. Your cards are back today, encased and protected forever. I hope you're pumped, because I am. And just because it is chilling rain season and I don't have time to just do opening vids, we are going to open a full booster box of chilling rain in between the slab reveals, kind of like how we do it now, because I still want to open packs. <laughs> but I also just love revealing your guys' cards, so... It's a win-win, right? So if this is your first time here, hit that subscribe button, guys. That really helps the channel, and I would love to have you be part of the Omash Nation. We have a fun time here, and also you know the deal. Hit that luck button right here to help get us some good pulls today, passing your positive energy and luck my way right now. Let's get everything unboxed and start the video. All right, guys, everything is unboxed and ready. We are going to have a blast today. I'm so pumped. We're gonna start off with some packs, and I'm starting with the left side. I think the left side is going to win today out of the left side, right side battle, and we will go through the opening uh, pretty fast because, you know, we've all seen Chilling Rain probably plenty, um, even though this is really only the second time opening it on the channel. Our first opening, well, third technically, our first booster box. Hey, Komiya Porygon Z, I need to keep that, and a Weezing, and uh, add it to the Komiya binder. Um, yeah, our first booster box was absolutely insane. It, it had to have been an error box, guys. We pulled so many hits. It was like four VMAX cards and then four full art cards, one of them being an alternate art. It was insane. The most broken uh, booster box that I have ever seen, and it was a fun time. Now, this booster box is from my sealed case of booster boxes that I ordered. Um, the one we opened last time was kind of a one-off, uh, just a single that uh, we throw in because I like to get a case plus one um, so that I can keep one of them sealed for the sealed collection. Our first hit is a hollow Urshfu. Um, I need a bigger hit than that before we get into the grades. And so yeah, we will see if maybe <laughs> this case is just an error case um, because yeah. That first box was wild. I'm definitely not expecting it whatsoever. Volcanium V, I'll take it, just a normal V, but it's all good. Let's move on to the slabs now, guys. Like I said, it is a nostalgic one today. We have some insane cards. Check it out, Shining Mewtwo, one of my favorite cards in the whole world. Definitely more, like my favorite Shining, and oh, I just love the pose, love the coloring, and the Shinings are just too classic. Now we do know it is more played, it is beat up. You can see the scratches. I think a lot of these cards are just from a personal collection, and uh, Marshall, I think, just wanted to protect them and keep them for himself forever. So we will see what we got. Bam! 6.5 for the Shining Mewtwo, 9.5 centering, 6.5 on the surface and corners, and 7.5 edges. And yeah, you can see it feels like it is pretty deserving. It is in a played state, but still, that looks sick. I love Shining Mewtwo so much. Congrats on that one. Next up, we have, oh yeah, Dark Charizard. I, if I remember right, I think we have like the full Rocket Hollow cards in this reveal, but that is so nostalgic. This was one of the only Charizards that I actually pulled as a kid, and so this card right here just holds so much memory and meaning to me. Let's see what we got. Boom! Oh, we got a nine, that is sick. A mint dark Charizard, guys. Wizards of the Coast, Rocket Unlimited. Oh yes, I love that. Congrats on that nine. That is a solid grade, especially when it comes to CGC because 
Hey, we have another one. We know how tough CGC is. Oh, we know this is gonna be a low grade. Look at that crease. And we can see some scratches. There, there's a good angle. But let's see what we got here. Bam, a five right in the middle. That's perfectly all right. The surface is what got the four, so not terrible, but still sick. You got two very cool Charizards protected and encased forever. That'd be cool if you actually pulled one of these as a kid and have had it for like the last 20 years, because that's, that's when it's the most meaningful. Dark Blastoise now, my favorite Blastoise in the whole world. I just love that attack pose, and I think it looks so good. I just love the Rocket series. I love the dark concept, the bad guys. <laughs> I think it's so cool. Let's see what we got. Boom! 8.5, not too bad. Two nines and two 8.5s. Oh, I could look at that forever. That is so sick. Guys, you have to let me know in the comments right now, what is your favorite Wizards of the Coast vintage set? There's so many good ones. Oh, as we just keep on going with the sick cards, guys, Blaine's Charizard. Now, this is my favorite Wizards of the Coast set. Gym Heroes and Gym Challenge. I count them together because all the art is by Sugimori, and they're the, the, the gym leader cards. And so... I just think it's so awesome. I love every single card in there. The artwork's insane. Let's see what we got. Japanese Blanche Charizard. Boom! Ooh, a nine. Congratulations there. One, uh, 8.5, almost a perfect nine. So sick. I love that artwork too. Just Charizard with the classic flamethrower. Oof. Some banger cards to start off, guys. I told you this uh, little reveal was going to be awesome. And now let's hope that the booster box that we're opening alongside can be awesome as well. We have been two for two with our alternate art <laughs> polls with Chilling Rain, and that is the name of the Chilling Rain game. Everyone is wanting Tornadus VMAX. We actually need this one, so very sick poll. We need, um, not, we needed the Tornadus, <laughs> but we have been two for two, and supposedly you are not supposed to be that lucky when it comes to the alt arts. They are supposed to be much harder to get. <laughs> so we will see if we can keep that luck streak going. Sir fetched. But um, either way, I haven't pulled a gold or a rainbow yet in this, um, in this set. I am shooting for the alternate art Galarian Zapdos. That is my chase card in this set. I just think it looks so good. The artwork's insane. And it just reminds me of uh, Final Fantasy Chocobos. So I'm going hard for that one. We have plenty to open. So I am hoping that that alternate art is in this case. The other ones we have pulled the chase Moltres V alternate art, such a sick card. And we got the Tornadus alternate art. Um, also beautiful artwork in there. So we are killing it when it comes to the Chilling Rain stuff. But maybe this box will shut me up and be like, this is what Chilling Rain is like for the rest of the world. <laughs> Omash. Oh, um, but yeah, something very interesting with this CGC return. Uh, there were definitely some more bulk subs sent off at the same time on February 1st, but they had no subgrades. And they have still not gotten back to me um, from CGC. And supposedly the subgrades are what uh, take longer to grade than non-subgrades. So, CGC, what is going on? Why did the bulk sub with uh, the subgrades? Hey, our first Galarian Normal V. I will take that. Very cool Articuno, the Malamar <laughs> of the Galarian birds. Um, yeah, I have no idea what is up with freaking pack with CGC because that just makes no sense. But, you know, we are always getting thrown for a loop. Uh, everything is keeping us on the tips of our toes here at Omash because grab locked. Things are just crazy, changing all the time. Speaking of changing, not changing per se, but the Japanese new set that is going to um, be most of what Evolving Skies is has released last week in Japan. We know all of the secret rares and stuff from the set and holy cow guys, 
it is absolutely insane. So many cool cards, more alternate art cards, Rayquazas, Dragon Knights are back as we get into an Evolutions Charizard. Love that hollow. I have to say it every time we see it is off center, but let's see what we got. Bamo, a near mint eight, not bad at all. Ah, oh, I just love that artwork. The classic, legendary at this point, Arita Charizard artwork. And we got the reverse this time. Let's see what we got. Boom, mint nine, solid. Almost a true nine, but very good grade, especially with CGC. I'm just expecting for us to never see a CGC 10. As we go back in time to the fossil set, Gengar Hollow, oof, so pretty. Love the fossil set, bam. Near mint eight, solid, two nines and two eights. Oh, that's sick. Fossil, I had a ton of fossil as a kid, I remember um, in my binder. Ooh, now this card looks pretty. Look at that full art hollow. This has to be like a Radiant Collection or like a Legendary Treasures uh, card. Pikachu right there, so cute. Boom, near mint eight, and yes, it is Legendary Treasures Radiant Collection. So nice, that full hollow is so cool. The English needs to do that more. Um, supposedly they are going to be doing that for the 25th collection, uh, anniversary set, full art hollows like EX style. Pikachu, love the artwork, nice little promo there. Bam, an eight solid, Surface got a seven. If this is a blister or any sort of like pin collection promo, that makes sense because they get all pinched up in there, <laughs> in the boxes, in the plastic. First edition, Dark Vile Plume. Oh, that first edition just does so much to so many people. <laughs> For me, honestly, though, it's like whatever. I'm perfectly fine with Unlimited. Let's see, bam! Near Mint 7, not too bad. The Surface got a 7. And yeah, we can see a bunch of scratches. Like I said, this is probably from Marshall's, uh, yeah, look at the top there, uh, personal collection that he's had for years. Straight from his childhood, so. You know, none of us kids took care of our cards that well. Dark Vile Plume Unlimited this time. Bamo, nine, solid. I do like that artwork. I had Vile Plume in my starting six uh, when I was a kid. <laughs> uh, first going through the game. Ooh, Dark Magneton, one of the hardest cards to grade because of that silver foiling. You can see every little imperfection there every time. But look at that swirl, where is it? Come on, camera. Yeah, right there, sick. Let's get it. Nine, that is very good. Very nice grade right there for the Dark Magneton with the little Shadow Rocket dude right there. Assuming it's Rocket. Next up, Dark Dark Trio. This is awesome. I love that he's coming through the house like in the game in Cerulean City. You know that house with all the holes? That is sick. I love the artwork there. Just so nice. Bam! 8.5, very nice grade, especially for anything vintage. A card 20 years old, <laughs> how do you not get um, worse, you know, worse grades than that? I know all my cards, if I submitted them that I had, uh, or I've had since I was a kid, they would be all over the place. <laughs> I don't think they would grade anything higher than a six. Thwacky Ampharos. Um, but yeah, I can't remember the Japanese set names. It's like Towering Sky and something Skyscraper. Uh, the box arts are Duraludon and uh, what's it called? <laughs> Why am I spacing? Rayquaza, geez, that took forever. Um, and yeah, the the artworks are just insane, guys. Dragonite is back. Dragonite hasn't really been in a set since Evolutions, and so I'm pumped for that. The alt art of the Dragonite and the full art even look amazing. They are my chase cards for the set. Um, and don't forget, Evolving Skies is going to contain, as well, all of the Evolution cards from Eevee Heroes. So it's gonna be a nasty set. It's, it's gonna wreck all of us when it comes to uh, our wallets, our bank accounts, because it's gonna have so many good cards. The Rayquazas, there are two alternate arts, and they look sick. They look so good, guys, I'm telling you. So everyone's gonna want this set. And uh, hey, we got both single and rapid strike, very nice. 
it's just gonna be a fun time. So many good cards. I'm hoping or hopeful that Pokemon will ease up on the tough pull rates because there are so many cards to pull. Literally so many cards on the Evolution side alone. But then we got all of these alt arts. Hey, hey, Galarian Zapdos, very nice. I'm not used to pulling uh, normal V cards. <laughs> I'm just used to getting alt arts and uh, V maxes are better. Um, but only a V max and a couple Vs on this side of the box as we get into the last pack of the left side. We will see if we can get any crazy hit this box. We are going for the gold Snorlax. I would love that. Let's 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 give it uh, right side first pack magic. See if we can get that, and then we'll go back over to CGC. Uh, but oh freak, what was I saying? Probably just talking about how the pull rates are just tough with Chilling Rain, and there aren't even as many pulls. Greedent as Evolving Skies is gonna have. So I'm saying Pokemon, ease it up a little. Dark Machamp, I love this card. I don't know why, Machamp is a cool Pokemon. One of the best fighting types in my opinion and that artwork is just solid. I think it looks so cool. Boom, ooh, a mint nine, very cool, love it. Like that hollow too, man. Vintage is just so cool. If only we could care about normal hollows <laughs> as much as we care about these vintage ones. We can see this one's really scratched up, really played, but still cool. Boom! 5.5 for this one for obvious reasons, but still, I can look at vintage hollows all day. So nice. Dark Gyarados. I never really liked this card uh, just because I think this Gyarados artwork is just goofy. <laughs> he just does not look like Gyarados to me. Bam! 8.5. Very nice card or grade for that one. Um, but yeah, some people love that Gyarados. Here we go. Dark Alakazam. Yes. Al Alakazam. All I can say about him is his psychic attack is too OP in the original games. <laughs> Just unstoppable. And look at that swirl. We got 5.5. Yeah. Oh yeah, there's a little crease thing there. So that'll do it. But still, that's so cool. I love Alakazam. Love Alakazam. Marshall, hope you're enjoying these grades. These are all your cards. First edition Dark Weezing, the card that you cannot tell is hollow like ever. <laughs> Let's see what we got. Eight, solid eight, very nice. First edition Watsy, can't complain about that. Now, I wanna like make, do a test video somehow. Dark Weezing, unlimited this time. Boom, 7.5 for this one. Uh, doing like a black label CGC 10 challenge. I wish CGC accepted Dragon Ball Super because they grade a lot better and easier than Pokemon. But yeah, they don't grade them. Dark Slowbro, love the artwork. 8.5, I just like that the Rocket Grunt is in the back and I do like the green background. Um, CGC doesn't do DBS yet, but I just would love to see if I could ever score a perfect 10 or that black label with the Dragon Ball stuff because you know I all, I love Dragon Ball Super. Dark Gold Bat, eight, very nice, and it's got a swirl right there. He's coming out of the cave to attack you. <laughs> Gold Bat, I'm, uh, sometimes I really like Gold Bat, sometimes I don't care for him at all. Dark Arbok, James, or Jesse's Pokemon, solid, so nostalgic. Dark Arbok, <laughs> an eight, not bad. We're doing pretty decent with these uh, vintage grades right here. Let's get back into some chilling rain because I need to pull something a little better than some normal V cards. Um, speaking of V rare cards, has anyone gotten that like uh, recovery package from Pokemon Center for uh, when they messed up on those ETBs? Oh, of course we get a full art dupe. We have already pulled this one, the Ice Rider Cali Rex. It is a beautiful card but it is not one we need. So hopefully we can get something else out of this box or else I might be a little scared. But um, yeah, you're supposed to get, you know, some free Galarian Bird V cards and then I can't remember everything, but I have not gotten that package yet from Pokemon. I haven't even heard about it. So don't know if that's gonna be happening or what but still, it's 
it's all good because you know, we, we did get our refund. I did get the $10 refund for the ETB. <laughs> Man, just so crazy that just things are happening like that. Impact Energy, Karen's Conviction Rainbow. There we go. Solid box right here. We got a rainbow because that is not always guaranteed. I will take that. It is a single strike trainer. Yikes, Karen coming to get ya. But that is very solid. The centering doesn't look terrible. And the back actually looks pretty clean too. So interesting that, you know, a lot of the cards in the set, the right side definitely beat the left side, by the way. <laughs> I was uh, definitely wrong. But maybe we can get a gold. Uh, should be looking for another full art or VMAX, possibly. So we will see if uh, what else we can get this box. Um, but yeah, a lot of these cards, the quality is just bad. Like the cutting is terrible, except the actual rares and stuff, um, the quality is much better. I don't know how Pokemon did that or why they did it like that. I'm happy for it because obviously we want the rares to be in the best condition possible, but just interesting. So, uh, there we go, Calyrex VMAX, that is solid. This is one of the more valuable uh, cards in the set as well. So I will take that VMAX all day long. Um, yeah, I don't know how the printing presses differentiate or like make the sheets, because you can definitely tell the quality difference. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty happy with this box so far. We got a full art, a rainbow, two V Maxes, um, and we still have a handful of packs. So uh, the you know the rest of the pulls might just be normal Vs. If we're lucky, <laughs> we could get a gold or um, an alt art. But I'm thinking we might just get uh, be done with the big big pulls. But we will see. Uh, I've completely forgotten that we need to open <laughs> or reveal a few more CGC slabs, so we will get back to that here right now after we get a hit right there. Ooh, Blaziken. I forgot the Blaziken uh, alt art is in this set, and it is what a lot of people are going after. It's such a cool card. Rocket Sneak Attack. Very nice, very nice. We have a seven near mint card. Not bad, so cool. Even the hot, even the trainers were something to look forward to uh, back in vintage days. Here comes Team Rocket, classic. Let's get it, bam, a five. <laughs> we can see why there's a crease up there. Oh yeah, but still, cool card. And it's just got the three nostalgic bad guys right there on the slab for you. Next, another one. Let's get something better than a five, bam. I'll take an eight, <laughs> much better than that five. Oh, I love seeing that card. Oof. Even though we all hated Jesse and James at Meowth as a kid. Rainbow Energy Hollow, <laughs> very nice card. Psychedelic right there. We have seven near mint, congrats. Oh yeah, that's sick. Um, yeah, we hated them. We did not like them whatsoever. They were just so annoying. Mega Charizard EX. We can see it is off center. Much thicker on this side than that side. But let's see what we've got. It's a beautiful card. Bamo! 8.5. Not bad. We'll take that. Oh, so sick. Love the full art cards. Seriously, full arts are one of the best things that have happened in Pokemon. Dragonite, my favorite Pokemon. I love to see it. Bam! Nine. Very cool. Oh yes, Dragonite. And with that, we're gonna pull some extra stuff. Um, I think there are four slabs left to end it. And then we have some more bangers to pull. Hopefully, <laughs> we'll see. But um, yeah, I think next video, this one is probably coming out. Oh, Double Fruit Fruit, Galarian Slow King. We got three VMAXs, guys. Another crazier box, very cool, very cool. I'll take that. I need the Alt Art uh, Slow King. That's the one I need the most, because I need it for my binder. But um, yeah, this box has not been too bad. I have heard, I've actually seen Shining Edith, Edith and Evie, her box only had Vs. Like, it was ridiculous. And I don't even know how a box like that is even made. Like. 
Pokemon. Sometimes you gotta do better. People are paying all the same amounts. <laughs> Obviously I'm okay with, you know, making a box better, but there should be a minimum standard for the amount that a box costs nowadays. It's just expensive. It is expensive to open Pokemon cards, but it is fun and I love doing it here with you guys, so hopefully you guys enjoy it as well. But um, yeah, this one, this vid should be, today should be Tuesday, and I believe Thursday we are going to have a nice little 7K subscriber celebration. Another Zapdos, <laughs> duped up on the Zapdos Vs. Um, and I'm super excited for it. I can't believe the channel has gotten to 7,000 subscribers. Absolutely wild, and it's all thanks to you guys. And I don't have uh, any subs <laughs> just sitting here in my room waiting to be revealed. And so I thought it was a good time to celebrate and we're just gonna open everything. I have Shiny Star V, oops. I have Chilling Rain, I have EV Heroes, I have Shining Fates. We're just gonna open a ton. Maybe I'll make it uh, a live, not a live, but like a premiere video so that I can be there in the chat with you guys to celebrate. It's gonna be a fun time. Hopefully we pull some insane cards because we're celebrating. Um, but yeah, a few more packs and then we will end it with the CGC uh, remaining slabs. And I'm just excited to celebrate with you guys because we wouldn't be where we are now if it weren't for every single one of you so if you get a chance stop by if it is premiere um even if it isn't premiere hope you guys watch it and enjoy and hopefully we can get some epic polls that will you know excite make the video a little more exciting but yeah it's it's just fun times here we should be getting soon, well, a lot more CGC stuff, I know that. They're grading through all the bulk stuff right now, and last pack magic, guys. And PSA is also um, grading their bulk subs. As you saw a few weeks ago, we got our first middleman sub back ever, and it's just exciting times. So much fun showing your guys' cards, so I'm pumped. I am pumped to be here. No last pack magic, but this box was good. We got full art, a rainbow, and three VMAX cards. Uh, that is solid. Now let's end off Marshall's slab reveal right here with, ooh, reverse Entei promo. Look at that swirl too. I love this card. Entei's such a beast. Bam! 8.5, very nice. Once again, it is not looking like we will be getting a 10. And if we ever do, ooh, legendary collection nine tails. Little scratched up, little played, but it's all good. Bam, five, not bad. But yeah, if we ever do actually get that 10, we have to celebrate big. <laughs> oh, what is that? It is the Mewtwo theme deck. Uh, card with the shattered or cracked ice foil like the look of that boom nine very cool Mewtwo classic artwork right there from base two cards left let's get it Charizard V we've seen all this and we all love it beautiful card nine very cool way to get a nice cut <laughs> ETB promo because a lot of them were like messed up and the last one for today, another one. Do My camera restarted, <laughs> but I don't think I, I revealed this one. This is the last card for today, Charizard V. Let's see if we beat a nine. Another nine, it's all good. Solid reveal. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. It was nostalgic for me. I love seeing those vintage cards and we saw most of the Rocket Series cards. So cool. And we opened a pretty solid Chilling Rain booster box. And so I cannot complain. You're all awesome. Thanks for being here. I hope you have the best rest of the day. And remember to come on Thursday if it is a premiere. We'll see what happens. But 7,000 subscriber celebration. We are opening everything to celebrate you guys and the support that you guys have provided to me and the channel. I can't say thank you enough. So hope you're excited. Have the best rest of the day and I will catch you on Thursday.